Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the T3 cameras or T5 or T6 cameras to shoot video. Um, the T3 eyes or T5i, T6i are slightly different. Um, everything should pretty much be the same, but I'll add a little bit of, at the end of this video for those cameras if you're confused. Okay, so here's the camera and um, for photography, we had a bunch of choices up here on the mode dial. For video, we're just spinning it to the video camera. On the lens, for us, we there is some autofocus options on these cameras, but most movies, everything are done with manual focus anyway. So let's practice using manual focus. And if you want me to show you um, how to use autofocus on them, then come and ask me or I'll do it in a separate video. Uh, and then we'll put for stabilizer, make sure that it's on if you have it on your lens. Okay, on the, and then we'll turn it on. So on the camera, um, we have, if you notice on the side here, there's less options than there was in photography, but it's the same deal. We push Q and we can toggle through these. So these are the autofocus options. Um, doesn't really matter which one we pick in there, so let's just leave it as live mode. Next is white balance, and you can click through by clicking left and right, or you can spin um, that to pick which one you want. Next is picture style. So in picture style, I would stick with standard, well, it depends what you're doing, but there's standard portrait, landscape, neutral. Um, I would, I like to pick neutral or standard, um, and then there's custom ones that I'll make a separate video about that you can adjust them to how you like yourself and then save a custom one on your camera. Okay. So I'm just going to stick with neutral. And then the last one is, um, kind of your, uh, there's no way that we can really change brightness and, um, uh, contrast like we could. With, um, in manual for photography. So there is a setting though that allows you to go in and, you know, if you're outside, maybe put it on low so it darkens it a little bit. And then standard and then strong is it brightens it up a bit. So I'm just gonna put it back to standard. And for, for us um, on the T3s, the best setting is 1280 by 720 so within this but even when you saw we, when we click that to go in and get there you couldn't get to it so if you go into menu while you're on while you're on video you have you're gonna have some different menu options here so um, we're gonna find the one that we need for so second one movie recording size and there's only two options on this camera on the T5s and T6s, you're gonna be able to go to 1080p. So this is 1280 by 720. So this would be 720p and 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second. Most like movies are filmed more in 24, 25 frames per second and TV shows are maybe filmed more in 30 frames per second. It's easier in 30 frames per second for us, so just keep it there for now. Obviously sound recording on, um, if you want the grid, you can put the grid or take the grid off while you're filming. Um, and then there's that exposure compensation. So you can go in there and that, like if you're in complete sunlight, you might want to experiment with this and turn this down. If you're in darkness, you might want to turn this up. This is kind of your ISO for video settings. Um, if you're, if if everything looked good, just, just keep it at zero there. Um, and then we went through those and nothing else we really need. Um, okay, so as I'm filming something, I make sure it's blurry on purpose and then I spin the focus, the manual focus, until I think I have it in focus. I go a little bit past and then I come back and try and hold that that focus. So right now I'm trying to focus on the, like that right there where it says set ISO, like those buttons in there. And I'm pretty far away, so I can't exactly see, but I think that's in focus. 
So I, I was blurry and then I went to what I thought was focus and then I came back a little bit to make sure that I was right on. Okay, so that's your manual focus and all I was doing, if you didn't know, was spinning this. So this, this is my focus right here. Okay, manual focus. Then the, the next thing is, um, so yeah, we, we know, so zoom is this one, the bigger one. So if I'm zooming, if you notice here, if I get in, in focus and I zoom in, it does not focus. Even if I put it on automatic focus, it's, it's focused on this one. And then when I zoom in, it just doesn't work. So if you zooming is really tough on these DSLRs. So I will, when I zoom in, I have to then refocus. When you want to record, do not do this. Don't go three, two, one, go. And then hit the record button. You might miss something at the start. The person who's doing whatever action or acting might go and you might miss it. On the same thing at the end, don't just, as soon as they're done talking or doing their action, just hit it right away. Film like this. Go get it in focus, get everything ready, then hit the record button, then basically count down. Go three, two, one, go. You might even want to count the one and the go. You might just want to point or just like a nod and then the person can go. Now you're filming all this, they finish their action or line or whatever they're saying, give it a second or two, keep filming, then stop. That makes sure you, you can, in the edit, you can cut the start and cut the end off. If you record just really quick, like three, two, one, go, you're gonna have nothing to be able to cut off. In the end, you're gonna be limited to what you can do in the editing. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is filming into a light source. So I'm filming a light, right at a light right now. So my suggestion is whenever you have a choice, film away from the light source. So if I was gonna turn this and film, I can't actually see what it's filming right now. Um, I, but you can see that the colors are probably pretty good and the brightness is good. I don't know if it's in focus, but then when I turn it back towards that light source, everything gets really dark because the camera just, it just has some, like a lot of automatic settings and it's trying to compensate for this and it's focusing, like it's dealing with the light from the light source and then everything around it is just too dark. So there's a couple things that you can attempt which is that exposure compensation, which you can't do while you're filming. So you have to stop and try it and see if that helps. Otherwise, just change your shot and film so the light source is behind you so that it looks better. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to deal with this light um, on the menu. So if you, go in, if you hit menu, go into exposure compensation, which is the third menu. Right now, I had it set to so originally I'm going to put it back to zero and then hit menu. So you can see that as I'm filming it, it just gets dark and dark and dark and dark. Okay. And if I go back into it, I'm going to put it to two and you can see that we get some of the background back. And then if I set it to plus three, then you can see that it's we get more and more of the background back in terms of its brightness, but now the, the light is really kind of blown out and overexposed, but this would be better in that situation. So if you're filming towards a light, towards a window, towards the sun, anything like that, use that exposure compensation to uh, fix that. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about is um, stabilization. So when you are filming, don't just hold on like this. Don't just hold on to the camera with one hand and flail away and, and film. What I tend to do is I will get my elbows like into my body and I will use myself as a tripod or you can actually use a tripod or a monopod, which is another video to watch. If you don't, if you just want to go handheld, then get your elbows like into your body, hold with both hands. You might have one on the, the lens to focus and one on the body or get focused, 
and then have both on the body and turn your body to pan, to tilt, to do whatever your, the camera movement that you're gonna do, use your body. Don't just have your arm out and flailing. Your footage is gonna be way too shaky. Get your arms in, stabilize yourself.